also talk a little bit about theoretical food costs, because that's an important part of determining what you should be. And it's called plate profits. What good restaurant tours do is they take an item that they're selling. Let's just say for the sake of argument, you're selling a roast beef sandwich, fries, and a drink. They take all the ingredients to make that roast beef sandwich, fries, and a drink, and they total up what it costs by the ingredients. So the sandwich has three ounces of roast beef, and therefore, what does three ounces of roast beef cost me? It's got one bun. What's the one bun cost me? The fries has this many ounces of fries. What's that cost me? The oil to cook the fries in. What's that cost me? The beverage is an X number of ounce beverage. What's that cost me? It comes with a napkin. It comes with a condiment. It comes with, it comes with. You lay out every item that's in that. And then once you have what that item costs you to make, you can then match it with what you're selling it for. So I can take the cost and I can divide it by what I sold it for and I can come up with my food cost theoretical. Theoretically, I should be doing this percentage on that item. I can do it with every item. In fine dining, I can literally look at here's the steak, here's the, the starch, here's the vegetable, that's what it costs me. Here's the price they pay me for it. I know by the plate. So see, what I'm trying to determine is plate profits. How much money do I make off of that item? I can do it individual items, or I can do value meals, the entire plate of goods, however I want to do it. What that gives me is theoretical. Then at the end of the week, I actually do my inventory, I come up with actual, and I can see the difference between actual and theoretical. My actual should be within a pretty tight range of my theoretical. There will be some waste. In this industry, you got to sometimes throw tomatoes away, or you don't get 100% yield when you're clear, cleaning uh, out lettuce. Sometimes you're throwing cores and edges away. Sometimes when you're with meat, you're trimming meat, so you got some waste. You also have some waste product that is held too long, product that gets tossed out, but it should be pretty tight. So I'm going to be able to see my theoretical versus my actual inside your own restaurant. When you change your prices, see, I can then determine if I'm going to hit food cost based on my vendors changing my prices and me raising or lowering my prices. <laughs>